Okay, I'll stop. This is a lot of fun. Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com bringing you another fantastic 1960s guitar. What have we got for you today? We've got a 1960s Dan Electro bass. Now, you know what? I've, I own personally two Dan Electro Firefly six string guitars. I love them. They've got the lipstick pickups and they're very, very cool. I love them. They sound really neat. But I'll tell you what, you don't see many basses out there. Matter of fact, this is the only one I've ever laid eyes on. Uh, and have you ever seen one on eBay or Reverb or anywhere else? You just don't see them. I think I probably got one of the only ones in the country for sale. Now, these basses they made back in uh, 1967 through 1969. Uh, we're not sure which year this one is. It's, it's you, you just can't tell. There's just, uh, I suppose I could pull the pots out, but look where they're hidden. You're never going to get them out of there without a whole lot of trouble. So we're just going to call it a 67 through 69. It's a model F2B4 for those of you who are going to look this up on the internet to see more about them. Uh, and I don't think they call it the Firefly, but the Firefly is a six string model, which is their. Uh, uh, ES-335 style uh, guitar that they made uh, back in the 60s. Now, these guitars, uh, this bass is absolutely all original. It says on the top, Coral, which uh, that meant they uh, started making these after they uh, 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 started going out of business. They, uh, they actually uh, were starting to wind down and they were putting parts together uh, to make guitars. And uh, the Fireflies and Corals were some of those that they did starting in 67. So this is one of those. And uh, they just used different parts. I mean, they used uh, the, the lipstick pickups. Uh, the, they had the, uh, the headstock uh, stuff and the tail pieces made with the coral um, um, stamp on them. But you know, it's got the, the Dano knobs. It's got a Dano uh, plexi looking uh, pick guard. It's got Dano everything else on it, uh, including uh, it's got the double line uh, Cluson tuners with uh, steel buttons. So those were really, really high end for the day. And uh, look at here, this one even has a serial number and a patent pending on it. Boy, that's interesting. Uh, we'll show that in, in this uh, uh, video just in a little bit. But these are really well made uh, bases. They've got uh, maple back and sides. It's got a spruce top. Very, very nice. Uh, 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 sunburst on it. It's got uh, some some checking and, and some cracks in the finish, not in the body, but in the finish. Um, there's actually two little cracks that you see right at the neck pocket on these types of bases. You'll see that. We've made sure that it was stabilized. There's no problems with it whatsoever, but you'll see two little cracks right in here, which these always have, where all that pressure is pushing right in here, you'll get a little bit of that. So that is no problem. It's got the Dano uh, wood bridge, uh, the knobs, everything. It's, it's, it's even got the Dano uh, uh, um, strap buttons. Uh, it's, this bass is all original. I mean, it's, it's absolutely extraordinary. And it's a lot of fun to play. The action is great on it. Uh, it could probably be set a little bit lower. I left it where it was. We really haven't adjusted it that much. And I've had it a long time. I mean, I just put this up for sale just not too long ago. Uh, I, I, I collect, or I, I hate to say that, I do collect some guitars. Dan Electros have always had a, a place in my heart, and I've got a lot of Dan Electros. So I probably will be really uh, unhappy when it sells. Uh, and I've owned it for at least two years, so uh, I just decided to put it up for sale and share. Uh, but anyway, it's fantastic. It really sounds good. I've been playing on the uh, on the neck, the uh, uh, the bridge pickups. That's uh, a combination between the two, and uh, it looks like the uh, pickups a little closer to the strings, which makes it just a little more aggressive. Sounds really good. Now, uh, the other cool thing about this is that they've got a very unusual nut. Uh, it's called, I um, uh, forget what it's called. It has uh, some bronze and oxide in the name of it. That is original to this base. You want to make sure those are on there because they made those special for these coral bases. So anyway, you get this awesome, awesome base, and uh, that's not cool enough. 
But you know what? I chased and chased and chased and finally found the original uh, case. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I, when I got it, it did not have the handle, OK? So all right, the handle's not original. That's the only thing. I put a reproduction handle on it. But it's a Victoria case, which would have come with this uh, guitar. It's, I know it's a Victoria case because it says Victoria case inside on the accessory box. It's got the beautiful gold, sort of a mustard. It's actually a real mustardy looking color, which is very unusual, uh, but very distinctive for uh, Victoria cases. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got the uh, accessory box. Everything is here. All the latches work hard shell, uh, everything is here, it fits the base perfectly, and I can't tell you how excited I was to have found this case, uh, because it goes with that base. And uh, so you're not only going to get that really, really cool and highly rare uh, Dan Electro Model F2 B4 Firefly Coral Base, but you're also going to get an original case with it. The Victoria case comes with it. You're not going to chase the case. You're not going to have to put in a new case or something like that. When you show up with that base at the gig with this case, trust me, every guitar player around is going to be uh, craning their neck to see what's going to come out of this case. So check it out. All our cool guitars, bases, gear, amps, all the stuff that we've got at uh, www.lawmanguitars.com or go directly to Reverb.com where we have 100% of our inventory. I love those guys in Chicago. Reverb.com, if you haven't been there yet, run. Don't walk to your computer and put in Reverb.com. And when you get there, put in Lawman Guitars in the search line. You will see all 180 to 200 uh, items that we have at all times in there because we love them. They do a great job for us. And you know what? They do a great job for our customers too, which we really appreciate them. Thank you, Reverb.com. Check out all our cool guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. And I really appreciate you watching today.